Hello guys, in this class now, let's now talk about the causes of motion, which will be our lesson 2. In lesson 1, we gave the definition and the types of motion. Please, we are on motion series. Follow the classes. Now, what are now the causes and the causes of motion? First and foremost, let's go back to our origin. At the start, I made you to understand that it's what we call mechanics. Now, take note that mechanics is the branch of physics that talk about force and motion. What everybody wants madness is the branch of physics that studies force and motion. Of course, you should know that what causes motion is force. A body remains at a state of rest except if force is acted on it. So the branch of physics that talk about force and motion is called what madness. Please, this is the basis for 100 level. Have you seen that? Now, take note that this madness is now divided into two. One part that focus on just motion, another part focus on force. The part that focus on motion is called kinematics. What I call it kinematics. So kinematics is the branch of physics, or you say it's the branch of mechanics that talks about motion. Are you seeing that? Why the other part that focus on force, which is the cause of motion, we say the cause of motion is force. The other part that focus on force is called dynamics. What I call it dynamics. So which is what dynamics talk about force. So we can say that mechanics is the branch of physics that talk about force and motion. If we want to focus on force, we are talking about uh, motion. We are talking about kinematics, but if we want to focus on force, we are talking about what dynamics. Do you understand? So many branch of physics that talk about force and motion and that. Now, so everybody, what's now the cause of motion? The cause of motion is what is force. So practically, we start by saying that the cause of motion of a body is force. What causes motion is force. Are you saying that? Now, we're going to talk about this more. We'll talk about new things. No. Now, take note that we said that the study of force which is the cause of motion, is called what? Dynamics. What do you call it? Dynamics. What do you call it? Dynamics. Now, practically, look at this man trying to push the tire. Now, this, the movement of this tire will be caused by the force the man is going to hard. If the man does not have the force to this tire, this tire will refuse to move. So, that branch of physics that talks about the cause of motion is called your what? Your dynamics, which is the cause of motion is called force. Now, practically, what are the type of force? Practically, we know that there are two types of force. Number one, we have what to call the word the contact force, which is force of the body in contact. Number two, we have what to call the word the force. Do you understand? Let's take them one after the other. This class will be very, very well short. Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to glass. Enjoy. What's contact force? This is simply the force of a body or when two forces are in contact or in touch with each other. So when the two forces apply, start to touch each other, they are said to be called your word, your contact force. And what are the examples of that contact force? I call them examples of your contact force. Example of such forces are number one, they have your word, your push or your word, your pull. Push or pull, we have your tension or your what your reaction. Pull or push, we have tension or reaction. We have what to call your what your frictional what forces. So give me examples of contact force. We have pull or push, we have tension or reaction, we have your what frictional force. This thing to me, you can't study physics under me and not the bright. By default, we are distinctions to that. Do you understand? So take note that what are contact forces are forces that are in contact with each other. What are the example of contact force? We have your pull or push, we have your tension and reaction, we have your word friction and word force. Now, if practically you say you understand, what about now your contact force, your feet force? These are force that do not require contact. Any force that do not require contact is said to be called the word a feet force, or you call it force feed. So either you say feet force or force feed. For contact force, they involve, they involve contact, but for feet, uh, force feed or feet force, they do not require what contact. Now, there are two types of feed force. We have the scalar feed force and the vector feed force. What I call it? Scalar feed force and the vector feed force. Now, what are the examples of your scalar feed force? The scalar feed force, this one, they have magnitude but no direction. Of course, you know what a scalar point is. These are quantities that have magnitude but no direction. So they have magnitude but what no direction. What are the examples? I call them third. Anywhere you are, they say examples of your scalar feed force. 
what is the temperature energy density temperature energy density temperature energy density temperature en i call them your third temperature energy what this these are your feet force that do not have magnitude but no what direction the next what to call your what your vector feet this one they have both magnitude and what direction they are just three they have magnitude and both one direction we have what to call the gravitational force electric force and your word magnetic force i can call them the gem are you seeing that so we have the word examples are your word gravitational force we have electric force we have magnetic force there's a constant question you're going to study them because three of them have um attraction and repulsive force but one lack repulsive force and um, we're going to talk about that just keep that for now so everybody what are the type of force we have your feet force and your contact for example of your contact force pull push reaction tension we'll talk about friction and force but what about your feet force there are two types either they are scalar or they are vector scalar we have third temperature energy density but for your for your for your vector we said there are three your gravitational electric force and your water field. practically this is everything about this only one jump pass question which is in notes are you with me next class we're going to talk about relative motion we discussed about relative motion in your scalar and vector so the same thing i'll just brush straight fast and we'll move to the next thing i hope you understand the class very short i'll see you in less than three run to the note revise it are you with me if you say you understand the class fine but but you can if you don't if you have any issue you can uh, go to the q a ask your question or you go to the note and go to you take the lesson again for you to understand it better but this class is quite simple i'll see you in the next class but for now peace hope you've enjoyed this class guess what to follow up for more classes just download the learn lift app whether on play store or app store and then follow up your classes you must do extremely well i'll see you in class bye bye